<laughs> Hello, so we're doing something a bit different today. As you can see, I have a guest with me. Yes. So the wonderful Phil Jupiter. Hello. Um, who I was trying to figure out how to describe Phil and uh, from what I know of him, go on. Like a hipster Uncle Fester. I was going to go for performance artist, but I think we'll go. We'll, we'll stick with that. That that says it all. Yeah. Um, and I've um, had Phil round for breakfast this morning, which has it's been, been a, a triumph. Breakfast was a nice. triumph. Um, what about the sausages? Very, very excellent, high quality sausages. Where did those sausages come from, Rob? Oh, they may have come from the village butcher in Chatterley Court. Good Lord, do yes. you know that village butcher? Do you? Uh, he might be my brother. Good Lord. Yes. That's an excellent sausage made by. Rob's brother. Lovely. Um, so yeah, so I um, I just wanted, Phil's currently playing the Baron in Chitty at um, the Hippodrome in Birmingham. It's very showbiz of him. He means Chitty, Chitty, Bang, Bang. Sorry, Chitty, Chitty, Chitty. Chitty. Bang, bang. Chitty. Using the short term. Yeah. It's very casual. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's very kindly agreed to uh, contribute to this week's video mm. and share the one thing. So what we're looking for yeah. is the one thing that you were told or you've learnt for yourself that makes your life easier or happier? It would be a piece of advice, and I quite often in interviews refer to this, uh, which was when in 1996 uh, I got uh, the, never mind the bus cops, we got the gig. Yeah. When, when I got it, and it was sort of known that I, uh, amongst the sort of comedy fraternity that finally I'd got, like a TV break, and you, you don't know how long these things are going to last. There's no, there's no promises in this game. There's nothing kind of, like, but it, it came up and we got it. And uh, there was a good mate of mine uh, at the time, a, a comic called Mickey Hutton, and he gave me, and I constantly quote this, the best sort of bit of advice I'd ever got, which is he he said uh, he said I think it's absolutely brilliant that you've got this TV show, this sort of break, but you must remember that it's just a bit of telly and that kind of he said that they've got a really really odd attitude to you as talent you are just a resource you are doing a job for them at this time they will quite probably get sick of you fairly quickly they've got a really short attention span television production people because they it's like Logan's run you're only as good as the colour of your crystal, you know, so it's just... And so when he said that, my attitude to Buzzcocks every year was that I won't be doing this anymore. And so I always, I never ever, I say never ever, I never I never banked on it coming back. And of course, the second I did assume it would be back, it got cancelled, which was a couple of years ago. But, but that, I mean, it took, the show was on for 18 years. And through those 18 years, every year I thought, you know what, this is probably done now. And it never was, and it just kept coming back. And I'm very happy to come back, and I had a lot of fun doing the show. But having that attitude to something that was a job that wasn't that you hadn't created, you were working for someone, I think enjoying something while you're in it, but not uh, leaning on it too heavily. Okay. And that kind of, it carried me through, and it made me sort of, A, enjoy it more, and B always be aware that something else could be around the corner i've constantly had and which is why you know i've got a very scattergun career as you know and you've mm. seen and, and and is on record it's documented check out yep. wikipedia do not check out wikipedia we've been slowly moving down we have been screen. slowly moving down and, and i was so involved and not watching that yeah but that's yeah, going to be very it's the words change. not the visuals <laughs> it's a good job much as though this is an excellent <laughs> suit it's about what we're saying not what we look like it's even though we look great. Uh, well, particularly you. I feel very underdressed actually today. That's all right. You're, you're allowed um, to. You're the expert. You're allowed well, to look casual. I'm in showbiz, exactly. but we've got to shine. Well, I think talking showbiz, and it sort of goes on the same thing. When I was working out in Hollywood, yeah, clang, clang. When I was working out in Hollywood, the first day I was there, there was an Irish guy living in the uh, not Irish Yorkshire guy, sorry, living in the pool house of Samuel Gold. There's nothing mansion. wrong with Sean Bean, right? And. <laughs> He said, he said, look, can I just give you some advice? So whatever you do, do not believe your own hype. Because the minute you believe what everybody's telling you, you'll fall flat on your face. It'd be nice to have some hype. <laughs> well, I understand that. I think you get plenty of hype. Plenty of hype. But, but it's that sort of thing. Don't, don't expect anything. No. 
I think, I mean, that's, it seems negative uh, on the face of it to kind of be that sort of down on the thing. But don't, yeah, don't. Yeah. That, that, and the way that he phrased it, that's exactly what it was. It's just a bit of telly. I love that. And it's whenever, whenever they're, you know, it's like, and it's if ever people used to say, you know, people used to come up to you in the street or at gigs and go, oh, you're, you're shit on that show. And I'm like, you've not got a remote. Mm. And the people would go like, and the, like my agent or people would go, you know, oh God, figures were great last week. And it's like, uh, Buscox had uh, 1.75 million. And in my head, I was thinking, that means there are 64.25 million people in the UK could not give a flyer mm. about our show. All I'd ever think was the other number. Mm. Oh, we got, we got a really, really good share, you know, 30%. So, yeah, so 70% weren't. That's what I was always, and I'm, I was always... So it's about perspective. Yeah, yeah. I just had a. It gave me a really good perspective on what can be a, a ludicrously kind of seductive mm. job. You know, you meet the people that have been sucked in the wrong way by, for want of a better word, celebrity, which I and I don't. I don't think I am. I think I'm a bloke who works on telly. I don't think I'm a celebrity. It's just people. There's there's recognition, mm. a, an odd level of recognition when you're on telly. I'm quite happy to not be on as much. Yeah, I'll say that definitely. Because it's right. I'm not supposed to be on as much. The nature of a career. You go up, you have a moment, and then you go down again. I'm enjoying the downslide. Mm. It's good fun. And I will just point out to this point, um, this gentleman here um, nearly inspired me last year to uh, give up everything that I was doing. Um, and that's a really positive you, it's thing. It's an excellent and it's a solid pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's, it's a... Go to my website... <laughs> <laughs> Give me your money and I'll sell you a pyramid.net. It wasn't that at all. It was actually going to see his performance poetry um, show in Edinburgh uh, last year. And uh, I got to the end of it and even though he was directing some of his poetry toward me, um, belittling what I do uh, for a living, in a nice way of course, but I actually got to the end and I just thought, I don't want to do what I do anymore. I want to do what he does. Um, and it, it's really stuck <laughs> many, with me. Many do. And, uh, and actually, I think it's because of this chap that I started all these videos. So, um, again, it's that other thing. When you're not just... So, so can I just apologise? Thanks. Um, <laughs> so, um, I think what you're saying as well about don't, don't take stuff for granted. And when you so, don't yeah. take stuff for granted, then you're open to other opportunities. So that was the best advice I got. Do you want me to give a good bit of advice? Go on. It's a weird one. It's really odd. Get up an hour earlier. You've got a routine that you know, right? Get up an hour earlier. All I'm saying, literally, get up an hour earlier than your normal routine. Make yourself do it. Do it for a month. You'll thank me for it. I love that. Great place to finish. I'll leave. Thank you for watching. Bye, Phil. Bye. I'd like to thank the wonderful Phil Jupitus for contributing to this week's video. And watch this space because I will be having more people on and sharing their wisdom. So in the meantime, remember to subscribe to this channel and you can find me on social media if you look at the links in the description below the video. Have yourself a super day and I will catch up with you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.